everyone, and welcome back to the Great Guffercraft Space Race, also known as Kerbal Space Programs trying desperately to get to the moon. Now, I have on call Ben Thorne. Ben Thorne, say hi. Hello from the rocket surgeon. Yes, I have him essentially being NASA. Uh, he can view everything that I'm doing, so if I move my mouse like this, he can see me dancing my mouse. If I move the start game... I can game, see your mouse glitching around more accurately. Well, yeah, it's, it's not perfectly. We're using the Google Plus Hangout, so he can see everything on my screen. And basically... Well, allow me to boot up my save as I um, explain this, with my thought process on this. I've been having a lot of difficulty with Kerbal Space Program and actually we're going to take a break real quick because I do something that I always do about forgetting to close down action in the corner screen. So guys, I will explain that in just a little bit. And we're back and the audio is a little bit quieter because I wanted you guys to be able to hear Ben Thorne over the music or, or sound effects and whatnot. And I also had to get rid of the hub that's in the corner that action gives me to tell me how long I've been recording. But as Hello. I was saying, yes, you can talk. <laughs> Is anyone there? Yes, they can hear you. No, get it? I'm doing Portal 2 turrets. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, but as I was saying, Kerbal Space Program had been very frustrating to me. I wanted to continue because I did sign up for this challenge, but I needed a little help. I really the did. Help of a rocket surgeon. Yes, so. I love that term. <laughs> so, without further ado, I'm going to show Ben Thorne my sciences, and you guys as well. Uh, nothing has changed since there. I have flight control, and he was actually asking about fuel lines. So let me see if I actually have those. For any of the pros in this game, I was asking about fuel lines in relation to asparagus staging, which sounds like absolute ridiculousness if you're not familiar with either this game or space science. Space. <laughs> I am not seeing that I own fuel lines. Okay, that's going to make this a little harder. And by little, I mean a pretty significant amount. Well, you think we can do it? Yeah, maybe. Oh, there's Eve, too. Oh, that's cool. I, I've never missed around. Anyway, you never, you never, you we're never gonna... stopped to look at them all? <laughs> no, I haven't. And there's all the sciences that I've gotten. Uh, today, I would like us to get into orbit. That is my goal. So we are going to make a rocket, guys. And I'll probably do a quick time lapse of this while me and Ben argue about the, the stuff... As the you can hear, semantics and the technicalities and the scalpeling and the surgery and the and all that all that jazz. So, guys, we will see you in a bit. Guys, we are back with this handsome little rocket, I think. So, uh, Ben Thorne, any comments about this rocket? Um, well, I think we're gonna get a nice tight spiral on it, maybe get it all the way to the 50 yard line. Um, do you know what? We should really call it the pigskin or something like that. The pigskin? 
the pig skin, just because I, I am serious. I think we're going to get some spinning because of the way the uh, fins went onto the solid fuel rockets, which is... There you go. Satisfied? Um... <laughs> All right, first off, uh, uh, setting the underscore in my name aside, uh, that's, that's, never mind. Okay. Oh, that's right, you don't have an underscore, I'm getting confused with all the other gopher crafters with underscores in their name. I'm talking about you, underscore, uh, Max underscore writer, and you, uh, Scotty underscore Garbitas. Anyway. I'm too awesome for underscores. All right, whatever, anyway. you gotta tell yourself. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've, we've attached some, uh, solid fins to the bottom of the solid fuel rockets. Um, the, unfortunately, we can't seem to get them at a 90 degree angle. Right, so, go ahead and there's the distinct it. possibility, yeah, they, it sort of wags its tail and it looks really cute. <laughs> but, but yeah, there's the distinct possibility we're gonna get some spin, which, you know, due to some of the other things we have, might not be the best thing in the world, but... It's not you know, much here's, we can do. Here's hoping it works out, okay? Okay, okay. I am going to quick save. Uh, we cannot go back unless the game freaks or crashes. Now, thankfully, I had a crash last, ep last episode. And uh, we were able to save it. I'm going to mess with my mixer again. Your mixer is probably popping up in your screen. No, uh, the recording doesn't pick it up. It just sees that my mouth is, mouse is off screen. All right, let's head to the oh, launch nice. pad. Yep. Oh, the screen went black. It went black, and it is loading. Is it black because it's night? Yes. All right. Oh, hey, look at that. We're already at 84 meters. We're so pro. Oh, I know, right? All right. <laughs> All right. The, the, first, the first stage is really pretty easy. To get to orbit, you're first going to want to launch yourself basically straight up, vertical line, keeping yourself about as steady as you can manage, up to about uh, 10,000 kilometers. So, throttling up. I think I might have been redundant there for saying 10,000 kilometers. I meant like 10 kilometers. So, L and yeah. Z? L and Z? I All turned right, SAS and RCS on, so we shouldn't okay. get a lot of spinning. This yeah, is actually one of the most stable rockets spinning. I've gotten. <laughs> uh, quick, oh quick, man, quick. your voice just went like garbled in a fishbowl type thing. Well, I'm, uh, I'm doing a thing. Go report. Transmit the data. Alright, so I take it you've got, did you put an antenna on? Because I didn't, I didn't yes, see did. one. Yes, I did. Yeah, I, okay. I put little yeah, flat antennas. Good. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's good. So that way, in case this goes belly up, I was going to say something else, but in case this goes belly up, Okay. Um, we'll still get Breaking something. Free. Okay. You'll want to um, change your pitch to 45 degrees east. Keep the engines on until your projected apoapsis is about 70 km. It's wiggling. Oh, that's my it's fins. It's wiggling? That's my fins. Yeah, that's, okay. that's uh, the fins. So wiggling. about. 45 degrees, right about, I'd say right about there. Maybe and that might kick be. Kick on the cool. stage? Yeah, kick on the next stage. Now, we didn't have the rockets I wanted to use, I'll admit, so we may do instead with a cup for a couple of extra stages. I don't know how well this is going to work out, so, you know, yeah, here's hoping. Am I falling? Uh... I am falling. Why am I falling? Why in the world are you falling? I haven't fully I throttled know. up. I don't think... Uh... I'm uh I'm getting a little uh, freaked out. Huh? Let me let me correct it. Okay, this isn't ending as well as I'd hoped it would. No. Okay. See if you see if you can get yourself roughly vertical. It might be that the engine's not powerful enough. Yeah. Um, at, it doesn't look like it. All right. So at 10,000 feet if we are unable to uh, gain ground, I'm going to... Yeah, we're, we're quickly... Okay, so two smaller engines do not, in fact, replace one larger engine. Okay, and I'm going to roll to get this thing off. Sorry, Bill. I'm trying to save your butt. There we go. <laughs> make Bill sick. Oh, there goes that engine! Bye, engine! Alright, we're quickly losing altitude. I'm going to rotate it again. 
changing the pitch, launching it, and getting rid of that engine. We're at 5,000 feet. I need to quickly do that again. Minimize the amount of weight we're dealing with here. And uh, try and... Whoa. Whoa. All right. What's, what's our kilometers per second or meters per second? Uh, All right. We're in, we're in a good range, thankfully, yeah. for the landing. Uh, Yikes. <laughs> it's okay. This is this is the first attempt. We are slowly going upwards. Okay, so that that right. engine. We have a liquid fuel engine. So just what you want to do is sort of pulse it. Just pulse it to let yourself down gently. Oh, okay. So we want to. You well, basically throttle point, down. Yeah. At this point, there's not much we can do. I'm just gonna. You want to keep. I, I'd personally advise keeping yourself vertical. Okay. Oh, Unless whoa, you whoa. have a particular place you feel like traveling. No, not not particularly. I, I can't see it on the map now. So, all right, we are exactly vertical. All right, that's good. So. Well, not exactly vertical, but close enough. Uh, yeah. We're so we'll still just. Still going down. Okay, I'm going to activate. I'm going to kill the engine, and activate the parachute. First parachute, and when that opens, at. Did it deploy successfully? It is deploying. It's deploying. Oh, All well, right. it is deployed. It's it's in the air. It's technically will open here in a sec, and when it opens, I will open up the other two. Uh huh. But we are in the ocean. Not that that really matters. And the wind well, is going. Well, splashdowns this way. are a little easier than touchdowns. Yeah. Yikes! It's so dark. Okay, I see what's going on. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, just. I'm trying to do this by... Yeah. Yeah. I'm a little worried about the velocity. You might want to go ahead and deploy the other two. Alright. With any luck, that'll get us that'll to within safe and That'll open at 500, and if it range. doesn't, I'll, I'll throttle oh, up not. the engine. You might, yeah, you might need to throttle up the engine. Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Last second save! Woohoo! <laughs> within 500 <laughs> meters of the ground. I think that's normal. Uh, it's still, like... I was still like, oh man, oh man, Bill <laughs> Kerman, you're about to die, bro. No, not this time. Alright, guys, I'm going to pause and wait till we get to the ground, because this is really tedious, because we're going six meters a second. So guys, see you in a bit. And splash down, and oh yeah, uh, no, 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 there we go. <laughs> we were sailing along in the water for a little bit. Alright, let's do a quick checkup on EVA? the crew. No, I'm not going to do an EVA in the ocean. Well, you can, like, collect... You've already done that, haven't you? Collected yeah. water and gotten the science from that. Yeah. Because apparently Kerbals have built rockets but not explored their own planet. Well, look at us. Ah, keep the data. Okay, let's recover this vessel. Yeah, Actually, but I mean, Mr. I'm talking Goo. about they haven't... The goo escapes into the water. Yeah, I remember that one. Alright, then let's observe this one. That, what the heck? It's above the water. Okay, whatever. Let's recover this vessel. And we have time to build another rocket. So, 30 si uh, 10 science with a total of 30, and it is dark. Okay, so, uh, what did we do wrong with this rocket? I think it was the engine. Um, so, let's set this yeah, to the side. You... Oh, dear. It's okay, dogs happen. I will, uh... Set this to the side and wait for Ben Thorne to scream at me. Yeah, weren't weren't recording at that moment, were you? When the dogs went off. I was, but that's okay. Uh, uh we're going to work out the. the... Button. <laughs> we are going to work on this together a little bit, and guys, we'll catch you in a bit.
we're back. So we've decided to use the Liquid Force engine, the LV T three hundred uh, thirty. T thirty, yeah. Yeah, and oh, I need to mess with the stage. During the rocket surgeon used uh, dissecting forceps where he should have used tissue forceps, or actually the other way around. Come to think of it, not enough force uh, as opposed to too much. Yes. Oh no no no! no look back. It's funny. It, it is funny. Uh, I'm missing. These guys need to go here, and these guys need so to go here. I'm sorry, I'm focused. So, what, what was the joke again? Um, I used tissue forceps where I should have used dissecting forceps. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Yes, you're damn right, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. uh, oh, I should probably. Oh, never mind. That's, that's what that is. Okay. So as we saw, the uh, the modules seem to work out pretty well. The the landing module command pod thing itself. Um, thankfully, it didn't spin like I'd anticipated, because that would have been pretty bad. I have to wonder if that's the uh, inline controller and our our whatever. Right, uh, Big Thorns Pigskin the second. The second, not exactly Junior, because he's got more force. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, so we, like like Sayu said, we, we figured out the issue was we were using a, a, sol a liquid fuel thruster that didn't generate enough force. It was 50 as opposed to the, like, what is it, 215 that we're now using? Yes. That's it to the launch pad. And I have to make something clear. Benthorn has never played this game, but he's watched a lot of walkthroughs, so I thought that would be a very good balance. And it is still night. I kind of well, want to speed up time I'm and. Uh, familiar with do you want to speed science. up time and wait for it to be day? Um, so to be honest, see. that's not really important. It's important to me. Whether it's night or day is is more up to you. Okay, I'm going to wait until it's day. Hey, you can see the stars moving. That's cool. That is kind of cool, actually. I like that. Yeah. Like Bill Kerman's just <laughs> look at Bill Kerman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that should be good. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I missed it. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Wow. All right. Congratulations on like wasting an entire week just sitting in your <laughs> rocket. Bill Kerman seems pretty happy. Okay. Bill so Kerman is an idiot. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. We got an additional four meters. It must have been the. Uh, yeah, it's it's probably the the uh, thrusters, the T thirties. All right, Elon Z. Forget the traditional countdown. That's the better countdown. Yeah. Uh, G force is still or... in the green zone. All right. I don't know. Good. I don't know if that really affects anything. But look at us! We're actually gaining ground! Yay! As opposed to last time when we lost our solid fuels, we just lost ground. Yes. Yes, we did. Oh, man. I feel like we should, uh, at one point, uh, maybe a little more advanced in the series, go for, like, a really bulky rocket and entitle it When Pigs Fly or something like that. Oh, we could do that. Would that be the Moonlander? Or Munlander, sorry. Okay. Well, the Munlander is, um... Separating yeah, just... and going 45 degrees before kicking off the second rocket stage? Perfect. Yeah, you want to be careful not to lose your upwards momentum because it's difficult to get that back. I'd say kick off here. Okay. And finish adjusting. And we're still gaining ground? Yes, we are. So that was the issue. We were using the... Um, oh, what was it? We were using the... LV-909s instead of the uh, LV-T-30s. 909 is not a su uh, sufficient replacement for a T-30, no, as we not. found out. <laughs> well, you live and learn, right? Now, the rocket yeah. is wiggling a little bit. Maybe if I were to roll it so that the fins are actually... like that. It right, looks like you're out of liquid fuel. Jettison the bottom stage and ignite the next one. And there we go. That's relatively that looks like plain. a missile. That's awesome. Going. 
we are still gaining upward momentum. Woohoo! That's good. All right, now check for me. Is your apoapsis at or near 70 km? No. No. Okay. We're going to need to kick that up to 70 km if we can get it. So what uh what doing? you might need to do is increase the angle a little bit. Get it closer to 90 degrees. So straight up. Not quite straight up, but closer to. And looks like we need to jettison the next stage. Now this is where I'm afraid our rocket's probably going to become a little forward heavy, so it's a good thing that we did this where we did this. Because doing things when we did this is always good. Well, not always good, but sometimes. Alright, we are still gaining... Hey, we can see Kerbin disappearing! Woohoo! Now, are we gonna have enough... <laughs> I can see my house from here! Alright, we are in the upper atmosphere. I'm going to observe... Keep data. Uh, we are in the upper cold. atmosphere. Oh, I'm just... We're not gonna have enough fuel to get into orbit, I think. Aww. But I think we are close enough to space. All right. Uh, I'll tell you what. Momentum. Give me a, give me a check now on what your apoapsis is, because we are still. It's at thirteen. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so add maneuver. <laughs> so we may have overshot ever so slightly. All right. Um, actually, what we've gone and done is because we overshot, we we might have to use our lander. Yeah. What you want to do is circularize your orbit. Your we're hitting the apoapsis, it looks like. No, we're not. But we are hitting the outward there portion of our orbit. Okay. Anyway, what you're going to have to do is kick off the stage, and we might have to use the lander to circularize. Okay. Which, of course, could mean, potentially, that we don't get them back. Oh, that's fine. Alright, I am in line with the blue little triangles. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kick off that last stage, so we're have a little forward momentum from that, not much. Not much, no. Okay. Alright. And, and uh, I'm going to fast forward until it gets down to T minus... Oh, okay. Uh, throttle down then. And... Why, why, why? It's throttled down. There's no... Oh, there we go. <laughs> wrong button. Yes, wrong button. But we're in orbit. <laughs> we're almost. I we're we're nearing orbit. Um. I don't know if the I. The orbit can... here is well. Actually, you know, we're we're in whoa, an whoa, orbital whoa. range. Um, okay. All we all we have to do now is circularize to get a proper orbit, and hopefully not use up all your fuel. All right, I'm kicking off the engines now. That's what I'm concerned now, is is I don't know if I. These, these are liquid fuel engines. You don't have to use them all in one go, and you don't want to use this one all in one go. Okay? Well, I don't know if I can uh, sustain the burn time, and I, I've, I've modeled it out to about halfway. So it's using less fuel, but if it gets down below the queue, I'll, I'll cancel it and we'll see how far we go. Yeah, now, something, something you want to check right here is you'll need to figure out if you if slash when the periapsis reaches 70 km because that's when we've officially I would say circularized your orbit well that's when the apoapsis and periapsis has switched places that that I've that I've learned okay well that's that's good yeah basically that's what we need to find out is when that happens all right I am not going to make it into a full orbit but we've made it into half orbit which is actually very much good enough for me. Very much good enough for you? Yes. With and any luck, we'll get enough um, science to get the rockets that we really need to get to a full proper orbit. I'll go ahead and throttle down and kill the engine. So That's probably good, so that way you can possibly get this craft back to Kerbal. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, 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 the liquid fuel tank. I want the Science Junior Observe the Materials Bay. Hey, there you go. That's enough for that upgrade that you wanted. All right, the T-800. Mm-hmm. Wow, look at our rocket just floating peacefully in space. Let's do a crew report. It looks so pro. Hey, we got even more science. 
Oh, there's that's the. That's good. That's that's so weird. <laughs> I didn't realize that that's what it looked like. Oh, that's funny. That is that's kind of cool, actually. Now the question is, is is it balanced? Uh, it still looks balanced enough to me. The yeah, goo seems to have it. clumped into a sphere. Interesting. Uh, so, in theory, this. it has its own sort of gravity focus oh, at no, the I center. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. Gravity keep well, data. I suppose. Yep. All right. It looks like we're beginning <laughs> to. Call. <laughs> Bill Kirvin's just like, oh my god, this is so awesome. All right, now to get out of orbit, you want to walk me through this? Okay. Um, to get out of orbit. What you want to do is, well, it's it's basically the, um... Flipping around and going backwards and downwards? Uh, essentially. Okay, then That's, let us... I mean, in, a, in a nutshell, uh... Whoa! There, you're gonna make poor Kermit... Actually, no, there's no <laughs> center of gravity, so he won't be sick. He won't even realize it's spinning. There we probably. go. So something like that? Yeah, basically burn retrograde, um... And try and get yourself down okay. safely. Just, I mean, you are losing altitude, so if you felt like it, you could just time skip until you, you know, gradually got yourself down. But a faster way would be to actually angle yourself down and return. Yeah. And against the grade that we were going. So, we are going down at a high speed. This will, this, I think this will help us at least break orbit a little bit. Bill Kerman is super excited because he's never done this before. Yeah, well, see, what you're doing right now is by burning retrograde, you're uh, reducing your speed relative to Kerbin. Yeah. And that's important for survivability. Oh, and we're done. We're done? We're done. <laughs> oh, we're, at, we're out of fuel? We're out of fuel. Uh, so we have no choice. <laughs> I right. might have wanted to use a larger thru uh, larger uh, fuel, fuel tank. Cache. Yeah, but if we do that, then the engine wouldn't have enough, so I'm going to time warp a little bit. Whoa. Uh, that's not good. Let's... Maybe not time warp that much. Can you uh, readjust your... Yeah, we have the controlling fins, so that's... um. Whoa, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I meant to do it the other way. It's 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 taking control. I have no control now. You have no control anymore? Yes. Yeah, so Alright, well now that we've entered the atmosphere successfully There we go. I would advise unless you feel like making a horizontal landing, I'd advise getting yourself I'd advise getting yourself vertical. Vertical? So like we this? can safely yeah, so we can safely deploy the parachutes. Okay. No, that would be horizontal because the the top one goes up first. I right, just saying. Okay. All right, whatever. <laughs> there. Uh, this also with the wings flying, we're, we're gaining ground, which is good. Actually, unless you really feel like pretty. splashing down in the ocean. Yeah, well, that's it's a big ahead. ocean. Time warp a little bit, so we give our my subscribers something to look at, and I'll time warp down when we get closer to there. And deploying first parachute and adjusting myself accordingly. Adjusting yourself? Yes. So that it's in line with the the parachute, because I don't want it to break off. I gotta kind of do this by eye. Yeah. And you're almost there. Almost. Almost. There. Oh, that's, that's about it. Yeah. That's close enough. Okay. Uh, I Gee, deployed the gear. other two. Okay. And. Here. Get ourselves down to a crawl. <laughs> Go ahead and <laughs> deploy the landing gear over water. If we had some sort of buoys or floats attached to it, that might actually be useful. Uh, well, you know. Okay, so time warp. Let's do the time warp again. That's a terrible movie. Don't ever see what? it. Yeah, that's fine. I've never seen it. That's good. That's very good, that's very good. Okay, so we are in the ocean once again, but there's worse places to be. It's, uh, and more that's... ocean. Well, at least we can <laughs> return the landing gear retract. Oh, 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 oh I'm, I'm startled. Uh, time warped up. Oh, let's, there we go. Alright, so yeah. Recover we'll the vessel. Recover the craft. I don't think there's anything we can do with the sciences in no, the ocean No, we can't get again. out. And, and look, we have a total of 80 science. Woohoo! Wow, we gained, we gained 44.7 science on that run. Yes, we did. So, you wanted the advanced rocketry? The advanced rocketry gives you the T-800. That's, uh, that's what I was, that's one of the ones that I wanted. Okay, and we have enough, s no, we don't. 
Never mind. We don't have enough science for that one. We were like 10 science short. Oh, what's this? Fuel systems. Well, cool. Well, you know, we have time. I say haltingly because I may put a cut here, but you want to build another rocket and try again? I kind of do. It's fun, isn't it? It is. It's. I see why it's so addicting. Okay, so let's get to it, guys. We're going to time lapse. Again. Time lapse. This time we're using the 800 fuel tank and we are changing up the name to Ben's Pigskin 3. And this will yes, probably very be creative and original with our naming. Well, you know, look at the rocket designers at NASA. Okay, quick saving. <laughs> no offense, NASA, you're great. Uh, put nose cones, put fins. We have all the fins in the world and we are good to go. Let's head to the launch pad. Stability for the ages. You yes, saw. <laughs> We have, we've got more stability. Can't hold all this stability. No, can't hold all this stability. <laughs> okay, rocket settling. We're oh, good. we lost two meters. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, turn on RAS and SAS and throttle up. Are you ready to go, Ben? Alright, um... 3, 2, 1, LNZ. LNZ. Please don't crash. <laughs> I'm <laughs> trusting you. <laughs> this is your rocket design. <laughs> probably a mistake trusting me like that. This yeah. is true. Yeah, this is true. Oh, all we right, have Jeb um, and I Kerman this time. Oh, we do. Oh, all right. Hey, wait. When did I get Jeb? While. What? When did I get Jeb? I thought he died. That's what I thought too. Hey, we got Jeb back. <laughs> By entering space, we resurrected him from the grave. I guess so. We're just that awesome. Well, alright, we can't kill him. We can't kill him, you hear me? <laughs> alright, well, we didn't kill his brother Bill, or whatever his name is. No. Okay, uh, we're at 7,000, 8,000 meters. Should I when be you hit, When you hit just under 10,000, um, you'll wanna, you'll wanna jettison this- Oh, your, your solid fuels are burnt up? Go ahead and yes. jettison them. Begin the next burn. Uh, since the gravity is getting weaker- uh -oh. oh. wow. Uh, Hold on. What did you do? What have you done? I've done right, nothing. Throttle it down. Throttle it down. Give it about half power. Um, I have no idea why they're stuck. Tilt yourself to 45 degrees. I'm beginning to think that you perhaps did not, um, add the decouplers like you were supposed to. I did add the decouplers like I was supposed to, I promise. Did you add the staging? Yes! I'm not Thanks. seeing it in the staging. <laughs> I thought I did. Crap, now I got all this extra weight. <laughs> yep. Oh. Thankfully, there's not much drag at this point. Um, oh, man, but it's attached to the T-800. That's just, this is great. All right, yeah. Look, right about now is you're going to want to head to the map. Uh, I think we're losing we ground. Need yeah, what we need is to be at 45 degrees until our apoapsis is roughly 70 km. Uh, well right now our apoapsis will be behind us because we are falling to the ground. We are? Yes. Why? Because we have extra weight. Alright, turn the throttle back up, get us... Stabilized. <sighs> No, the other way. No, 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 no! I have no control! <laughs> I have no control! Kerman, jettison this section. Oh, okay, jettisoning this section. Starting next. Oh, something exploded! 
<laughs> Maybe don't point yourself straight at the ground. You should have control again. I have control. I am correcting it. I am freaking out. Oh man. Okay, we are good. What happened? Because you screwed up the staging. I did not. Jebediah, it had to be a Jebediah failure. Jebediah will survive. That's the important thing. This Jebediah will survive. <sighs> okay, we are pointed back up, and I am not moving at this point, so I have no idea why the rocket is moving on its own. I am not touching it. I swear I am not touching it. Stop it. Stop it. You're out of fuel. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thankfully, we've got another one. Alright, uh... I would say, at this point, cut until landing, because, okay. you know... Alright, guys, mean... we'll see you in a bit. Extending the landing gear further in, even though it's in water. It is cool. Uh, let us observe the goo. We probably won't get much. But science no. is still science. Keep data. Uh, crew report. Yeah, Jebediah is an old pro. That's the fuel tank. Don't need fuel tank materials bay. Observe materials bay. Ah, well, keep the data. Science is still science, as I've learned. Okay, and we're going to speed this up. <sighs> and slow it down just a little bit right before we hit the water. Because I don't know if you saw what happened in my last episode, but apparently you time warp and the physics of the boat makes it all go bendy like a limp noodle. <laughs> that will happen. That's that's the danger of time warping. And we have made a successful splashdown. Retract the landing gear. Because that's totally important. It is totally important. Alright, let's recover the vessel. Because we can't plant down a flag. <laughs> <laughs> no, well you can, but I don't know how much good it'll do you. Alright, well cool, well guys, this is Kerbal Space Program. If you like, be sure to uh, put down in the comments how much you liked, and if you liked Ben Thorne joining me for this. I feel like I have enough motivation to take this on my own, but then again, doing this with Ben Thorne is kind of fun. So guys, leave it in the comments, let me know what you guys think. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Any final words, Ben? Wow, just wow. Okay. That staging issue. Oh, uh, well, you know. Okay, so well, guys, see you next time. <laughs> see you guys next time. Maybe. Uh, 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 Before uh. I forget, we spent like an hour on that, and we're on day six, 34 minutes in. What? Uh, let's go to the save file. What? Uh, day there's, six, 34 yeah, there's, there's supposed to, we're supposed to keep track of our time. Let's see if it's in our save file. Resume saved. No, but I know exactly how much time I've spent on this. So guys, uh, we're about two hours and 15 minutes in, something like that. So, uh, again, like, subscribe, comment, whatnot. See you guys next time.